everyone! So today I have a very exciting haul for you. Recently I went to the antique fair. It's this big fair that happens on an oval in a little country town that I used to live in and me and my friends go there every year. It was awesome, I got a lot of cool stuff and I really wanted to show you because a lot of this stuff wouldn't really be included in any oddities updates because I don't think they're that weird enough kind of but they're still really cool but there are some oddities in here which is also exciting. First thing I'm going to show you is this cross. I am just going to put it out there that I'm not religious, um, if anything I'm kind of pagan, but I do find religious imagery, like particularly Christianity and um, Catholicism, very interesting and intriguing and I appreciate the artwork I guess and the different imagery. So yeah, I collect like a lot of crosses and rosaries and stuff like that. And I thought this was really interesting. I actually thought maybe this was new because if you look down here it has a little skull and crossbones which I thought was really unusual and cool. But it turns out it's actually from 1960? I can't remember. It's, I don't know. Maybe earlier than that. Next to go with the Jesus religious stuff <laughs> I got another cross. This one's little and it's for a necklace and it's just a little ornate crucifix and it's really pretty. And a friend got one that was smaller so we got kind of matching ones. I think this is the last religious thing that I have. I got a rosary. It's really really cool. The little cross there is wooden and the little Jesus is some kind of metal. I don't know. I don't think the beads are wooden but I could be wrong. I actually didn't know though and I feel a bit silly for this that apparently at least if you believe in this kind of stuff that wearing rosaries is considered bad luck and you're only meant to hold them and like I don't know touch the different beads and stuff and I never realized that I actually got this to wear and I generally don't really believe in like bad luck and stuff I believe in common sense and following your instinct and stuff so I was going to wear this anyway, but now that that thought is in my head, I just, I don't feel right wearing it. So this is probably just going to hang up somewhere. I don't know. I wonder though, if I like blessed this, could that make it not bad luck anymore? Just neutral? I don't know. What do you think? Anyway, so now I, I only wear my handmade rosaries because they're mine and stuff. Uh, next thing I got is exciting. This was really cheap as well. It was only like maybe five dollars. It is these butterflies in a dome. It's just like acrylic. It's not glass or anything. Yeah, but they're really really cool. They have a few like carpet beetles in there so I had to stick them in the freezer for a while. But anyway, that's my pretty little butterflies. As you know, I collect a lot of Australian police insignia, so I found this New South Wales police patch. I've never seen any like this before, and I don't know where on the uniform this would go. It doesn't, I don't know, would it be a shoulder patch? I don't know, because it's like a different kind of fabric to the usual. If you know anything about this, feel free to share in the comments because I I'm really curious. Next I got some old keys because if you don't know I'm a huge sucker for keys especially antique ones with like character. So the first one I got I think this is my favorite. It's this one. It's really interesting. It's a bit wonky like if you see these these bits here they're kind of bent and wonky and I also like that the key is sort of slanted like that and up here these little details are sort of crooked and not symmetrical either and I really love that. Things like that with character that are not perfect I really enjoy so I got that key. Second key that I got is this one. I got this discounted because we weren't sure whether or not it was real. The guy that sold me said that the person that he got it from said that it is a real key and that it was used for a real door or whatever but I'm personally skeptical so was the guy selling it to me so I got it discounted which is really nice. It's still really pretty though and I took the chance of it maybe being real. I just I, I like the mystery of things like that as well but I just love how ornate this one is too. I don't have any that are super ornate like this. It's very heavy as well so you never know I guess it could have been real. Next thing is sort of well I was gonna say it's not really practical but none of this is but I saw some like old tapes and stuff being sold. They were like, I don't know, a dollar each or 50 cents each or something. 
and they had a placebo one and if you don't know already I love placebo so much they're like one of my top favorite bands they have been since I was a little teenager they were like the first decent band that I ever got into and like really kind of obsessed over so I got black market music and this is not practical because I I don't have a tape player or anything but I just it's placebo like I can't I can't say no to that and for a dollar like it's just cool to have I don't know it's placebo next I have some old postcards so the first one that I have is of a stag and it's very very pretty there's the back it says on the bottom a monarch of the glen apparently I think that was a movie or something old movie book I can't remember but my mum mentioned that but it was a while ago now I can't remember what she said but anyway regardless it's a very cool photo slash postcard so I had to get it. the next photo slash postcard I got is it has a little annotation thing sorry it says native skeleton Yanchap caves Van Chap Caves, something caves. Anyway, it's this. Um, it's a cave with, as you can see down there, a skeleton. Yes, a real one, which is really cool. And then if you look up here on like this ledge, there's some skulls as well and stuff, which is really cool. I never really see much stuff like that with the old antique photos, and so I was really excited by that. If you don't know, I collect a lot of kind of antique, morbid photography, like cemeteries and like old abandoned buildings and churches that have cemeteries in them and sometimes forests and stuff but anything that's kind of weird and quirky and a little bit morbid that catches my eye in a photograph I have to have. Speaking of morbid we're going back to oddities now. It is this. This is a necklace that was apparently, this is what I've been told, I don't know if it's true, but apparently this was made on the Pacific Islands if that's right. So the little beads here made of shell. The guy thought that these teeth were from sharks and my friend and I were like no that's not, that's not shark teeth but he, he was like no no, no I'm so, it's a shark because there's shells on it. We, we collect a lot of this stuff we know that's not shark teeth. Those are canine. We don't know what specific animal these teeth are from. I know that uh, I think it was in Papua New Guinea maybe back in the day they used teeth as currency so maybe that would have something to do with it. I don't know, that's the first thing I thought of. I have no idea. If you have any clue about the history of this possible history, please let me know. That'd be really, really cool. And they make a cool noise. Yes. <laughs> they were like a really good price as well. I can't even remember how much. But when the guy said the price, he just like kept on talking afterwards and I'm like slowly getting out my money and just kind of take it, take it, take it. <laughs> Next thing I got is for my artwork. I got some old chandelier pieces. I've been making a lot of sun catches and stuff like that lately, lots of pretty shiny things and these are perfect for it. So I've got these. I think these are like five dollars each which is quite cheap considering. So there's this one which has all kind of roundish ones. I don't know, I can't remember my shapes. Send help. <laughs> yeah I got that one and then this one which has a nice sort of square prismy looking thing and I kind of wish that I got more now but oh well I'm sure I'll, I'll find some again at some point. Next I'm not really sure if this can be classed as antique but I found them at the antique fair and it was really exciting so if you don't know which you probably do because I've talked about it in a couple of videos I am a very very big Harry Potter fan. I'm actually only just now currently reading the books I know it took forever but I've always been a fan of the movies. Anyway I found some Harry Potter stuff there which is really cool. There was a lot more there than what I've bought because I needed to really rein it in and calm myself down and just get the stuff that I really liked. So the first thing I got is just the greatest. It is this little brooch with Draco Malfoy on it. I believe that's from the third movie that picture. Could be wrong but I'm pretty sure. I love this. Malfoy is such a little punts and I just I love it so. <laughs> I got this and I wear it with pride. For those that are wondering, I, I don't consider myself a Slytherin. I, I like Slytherin, I think they're good value and I wear a Slytherin shirt quite a lot but I wouldn't consider myself one. I kind of think of myself as more Ravenclaw or maybe Hufflepuff. I'd like to think Ravenclaw but other people think Hufflepuff so I don't know. 
but yeah. But I still have a big appreciation for Slytherin, <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, next two Harry Potter things I got are kind of very similar. I got these biscuit tins, so this is the first one. And it has, as you can see, Harry, Ron and Hermione and the Hogwarts Express train. And I was so excited when I found this. And you can even see the biscuits that were once in it. I think one has a Nimbus 2000. Oh, the flying key from the first movie or book. I can't recognise the other two. Oh, one has a sorting hat. But the brown ones I can't really make out. But anyway, so that's the awesome, awesome Harry Potter tin. And because I couldn't decide on the two tins, I got the other one that was there as well. And this one doesn't have any of the characters on it as far as I can tell. Yeah, obviously these are based, well I think anyway, off of the first movie by the looks of the scenery. So yeah, but there's the design on that one. And this one's a different shape as well as you can see, which I really like. Now I've no idea what I'm going to do with these, but I just... Harry Potter, you know, I can't, I can't say no to that. It's like the placebo cassette, I just, it's Harry Potter and it's placebo, I just need it, okay? Just don't question my methods. Anyway, so I'm pretty sure that's all of the stuff that I got at the antique fair. That's all, so thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.